your player slays thousands of enemies. You make an epic boss fight. And then... Your boss appears. Now, if this is your situation, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to make some really cool boss music, nice and easy, nice and quickly. It's actually not that hard. Also, fair warning, I have a new mic and I didn't know how to use it when I recorded this, so you're gonna hear me breathing and swallowing a lot. I'm so sorry. I just recorded this video, but my recording setup was wrong, so I'm gonna redo it. But this is what I came up with the first time I did this. You get the point. Let's redo it from the start. New file. We're gonna take a kick. Okay, we get a kick. Now we need a snare. <clears throat> okay, so kick, snare, kick, snare. Play that. Do slow. Do like 173. Um, there we go, we can actually see that now. All right, we're gonna give this a new color. Select both of them, put them into the timeline. Okay. See they're both channeling through here now. We're gonna master them now. Let's compress the drum. A little too much there. That's good. We're gonna compare the, I mean compress the kick now, I mean the snare. Some of that crunchy sound at the end. A little much. Cool. Um, you can now paint pattern one. Do two bars of it. Time for the loops now. So we're going to do a um, 60, 160 BPM hat loop. Take your hat loop, double click it, and you can download these. Um, I'm using Vengeance right now. You can also make these yourself, but we're going for speed. 160. You can pitch it down a little bit. Okay. Take a 140 now. That's good. Same thing. Set it to the BPM of the sample. And now we'll stretch to our current size. Adjust volume accordingly. We're gonna add a serum now. Choose a hard base. All right. Do some sort of diminished minor scale, um, or whatever you know fits your your game's theme. Obviously, every game is different, but I really like these uh dirty like scales.
some sort of simple <clears throat> repetitive loop in the background it makes a huge difference. You don't want to get too complex with it because it's it's a loop. Um, fourth one. duplicate this I'm gonna move it on over okay I have no idea what I did there to be honest so we're gonna do that again uh, I don't know what's going on there there we go all right so now we got um, two bars of it we're gonna introduce a new sound on the second one to make it a little bit more interesting um, you can even change up the bass line, but some sort of that could be interesting. Just make a, a thing for it. And now we're going to go to here. The, uh, the reverb on that is really annoying though, or the delay, I mean. Um, the reverb is fine, it's the delay that's just driving me insane though. Uh. Put on the off beat maybe. And uh, so from here on, we can we could sidechain the drums here. But it honestly, in most video games, you don't really need to sidechain your music because you're usually just blending it with other sounds in the first place. Um, so your music isn't gonna try and you're not trying to maximize volume on your game soundtrack. So usually, you don't have to master your music too much. So honestly, this is a viable uh, soundtrack. And let's just break it down to what we have. We have the drums. Important notes here, the drums are compressed along with the snare. That's really important. If you don't you know, pre-compress, it's going to sound really weak. And I'll, I'll give you an example of what it would sound like if you didn't do the compression. I'll turn off the compression. It just, it just sounds lame. Honestly, it just sounds lame. Um, but then you start compressing, and you get more of a... Um, so you get, you get that nice punch. Um, what we have going on here is a drum and bass, um, kind of like hat sample. Sounds kind of skippy. Um, and we mix that with this one, which is extra skippy. And that kind of creates this layer of skippiness. And the way I like to see it is you, you can combine any two hat loops to make a new hat loop. So, you know, just take the amount of hat loops I have in here and consider every combination. And that's how many unique sounding hat loops you can create. So why waste your time making them if you can just do that? Um, and these are high quality samples, so like it doesn't really matter. Uh, work smart, not hard. So this is the bass line. And let's say that this bass line wasn't compressed enough as is. You can compress it even more with um, OTT. So 
I'm sure this already has OTT on it. Yeah, so we already are multi-band compressing it, but we could even turn the gain up here. If we wanted more compression, but you probably, you know, it's, it all comes down to sound there. And then our last component is some sort of a higher level. You know, pluck or some sort of uh, anything that's just not in the load. Uh, important things to take away, these are really simple melodies, usually only consisting of five notes. The most catchy melodies usually consist of just five notes, so try and keep it simple. Um, even the pluck here is just two notes, and you could probably get this stuck in your head and just hum this. So keep your melody simple, um, keep everything within a short range um, of, of notes. At least for like you know some sort of an intense boss track because once you get carried away um you know sometimes things get too complicated and it just starts to sound silly and you lose yourself in it at least for now it's a, it's a good starting place so i'm actually i'm not sure how long it took for me to make this but here's another you know viable intense boss track i'll let it play through once 